Hello my beautiful Libras! Welcome back on my YouTube channel Ivan Tarot. This is bonus weekly love tarot prediction for the month of October for this week. Love tarot reading, of course. And let me see what will happen in your life. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Okay, Libra. Once again, happy birthday! Happy birthday to you and happy birthday to me. <laughs> Make a wish, baby. Make a wish. This is your first message. So let me see what I have for you. From now on, I will concentrate my efforts on the solution alone for my benefit and for the benefit of all. Nice. You know... Libra, if you ask me, I think this could be your birthday wish, maybe just one of many. I think you need to put yourself first by being positively selfish when you become very happy with yourself. This is how also other people will be happy with you. Usually typical Libra try to please everybody but themselves. So honey, I think this is your first message. Stop doing that and be positively selfish. Nothing is wrong with that. Let's talk about love. Let's talk about your person and what exactly this person of yours want to say to you. This is your first message. I'm afraid I'm too late to explain my situation. So, you have person in your life and you are in certain situation. This person want to talk to you and this person have to say something very important to you. This could change this statement, this conversation most likely will change your life future. Maybe not your whole life but could be something important. This person already think they are too late. Maybe they are, maybe they are not. Everything depends, my beautiful Libra friend, what exactly this person, hopefully, I hope, sincerely, what this person want to say to you. So, let me see another message. Come back to me, please. Okay, my beautiful friend, it's easy for me to make a conclusion, right? And this is why we started with this card, because probably you said to yourself, from now on, I will never fall in love again. From now on, I will be more positively selfish. From now on, I ain't gonna try to please everybody else but myself. From now on, okay, you got the picture. If this resonated with you, then please put your comment what type of resolution you just made for yourself and for your life. So you can see there is a person who really, really want to talk to you. There is a person who really, really, really want you back. I think this person will do anything what it takes, like anything, just to get you back. Okay. Now, let's dive a little bit more deeper in your reading and let's see more juicy details. The hanged man, hanging man. So it's guys very very clear. It's easy for me to predict what will happen. This person changed opinion about you and they will try to persuade you, you know, like maybe you will change your mind as well. I don't think necessarily you are still into this person, but we will see what will happen next. 
So this person is in a very uncomfortable situation thinking what you will decide. Will you take the phone call? So will you? Will you take this phone call? Will you go back? You will see this person will try, not try, but cry. This person will start crying in front of you. If only you decide to give them a chance. Major your kind of the high priestess. You are very quiet, my beautiful Libra friend. Lately, you are very quiet. And you already know the answer because you are so extremely intuitive uh, creature. You are so intuitive. In this type of situation, I think you will stay calm. But since you already made this resolution saying from now on, I will never ever do something against my own good. So this person needs to try, 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 try again, 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 and again many times before you start believing in them once again. So, Major Connor the High Priestess, all of a sudden you will become so mysterious, so aloof, even coldish at least, to people who deserve to get a treatment, like a cold treatment from you. Now you have some facts, some information. And this person, this person don't know that you know, but you know. Some of you might be on the verge to start secret love relationship, which I never suggest guys, you know, to do. I can see some energy is building because there are a lot of secrets, hidden things, hidden infatuation, person who can't hold themselves back anymore. I can see a lot of stuff in only five cards, but what will happen next? Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords could be men, could be woman, of course. And this is Libra, Gemini or an Aquarian. Uh, maybe you are dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces person who can't do or say what they really want to do or say because they are afraid how much you know of them. Knight of Swords, which I noticed in my practice, in my career with my clients, usually Knight of Swords will come in a reading when situation need to go faster, you know. So a lot of questions, a lot of phone calls. You will be shaken up. But you can't imagine how deeply this person will be shaken up when finally they will be able to see you again. So things are speeding up between the two of you. And I think this is good. For better or for worse, you need to know what you want and how this person feels for you. I can see also a person who is head over heels in love with you, but it looks like it's so hard to approach to you, Libra. Even though you are, let's say, single, it's going to be so hard to approach to you because you made up your mind from now on like nobody can get me, you know, before they really, 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 really explain or do something for you. You changed your mind for good. You changed your mind for good. I totally feel you. I totally understand you. I made such a, resol a resolution like, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. So stop, you know, uh, pleasing other people. Uh, instead of that, please yourself. So there you go. So there you go. So I was right all along. You and this person could be two people in your life. Could be another Libra, Gemini, Aquarian, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You have 
two people in your life. This is why you have hangman and a high priestess. Either you are choosing, either you are in a love relationship situation, or maybe you can't choose which one is the one, which one is better person, better partner for you. Could be this, could be that. Knight of Cups is person who is very romantic, very affectionate, person who can sweep you off your feet, but only if you allow them to do that. Everything depends. Are you in a good mood this week? Are you in a bad mood? Are you hiding something? Um, are you happy with your life, with your career, with your family, with your friends? What type of plans you have? Are you done with your past? So what I'm saying here, two people are choosing you, but honey, you are extremely hard to catch. Everything is connected with this. From now on, I will never ever whatever. So please do comment nine of wands. So there you go. We can see there is a man not standing but kneeling and begging. It was my fault. Now I see. Can I explain myself? Can I? Will you listen? Honey, stay positive. Stay positive and listen. Answer this phone call because it's going to be really interesting, you know, this time, what really this person want to say to you. If nothing else, have some fun. Okay? Comment, like, share, subscribe. God bless. Bye. So, choose the very best for you and remember you need to be more positively selfish. The best part is you will be extremely hard to catch. Bye.